over 30 pairs of wrestling shoes. This is my entire wrestling shoe collection video. But before I go into my total collection video, I do want to give a little plug to the Powerade Wrestling Tournament. On December 29th to 30th, you can watch the Powerade Wrestling Tournament live on Flow Wrestling. With some of the widest talent across the country, these wrestlers are going to be competing here. And what's cool about this too, if you're a good wrestler, you're in the sport for a long time, and these guys rack up their shoe collection just like myself like crazy. So you can see on here from some of the pictures on screen, some of these guys' shoes they're wearing, the XEOs, the P2s, a ton of rare wrestling shoes will be on display at this tournament. You're right. At the end of the day, it is just a wrestling shoe. The wrestling shoe is not going to win you the match, but just kind of seeing these shoes and knowing that like, wow, these guys are wearing like $500 wrestling shoes in a wrestling match. It's crazy. It's super awesome. Being in the wrestling shoe game is super cool. So like I said, if you guys want to do watch the Power 8 Wrestling Tournament live on Flow Wrestling December 29th to 30th, that is linked in the description below. So around me, we have 34, exactly 34 pairs of wrestling shoes. I don't know if that's too much or too little. It's probably too much. Earlier in the year, I was even thinking if I could wear at literally a new shoe every day of practice and see how long that could take me. But my shoes were scattered across, whether that be my school, my house, my apartment. Heck, I probably even have some at my old high school that I just like left there. But Nonetheless, we're gonna dive into each shoe. We're gonna specify on the brand first. So first up, we're just gonna go into the brands that I only have one pair of, and there's, there's uh, actually just a couple. Um, so with that being said, uh, let's dive right into the reviews. So starting off here at number one, we have, this is, I think this is my new newest wrestling shoe I have. This is the three point wrestling takedown. So shout out to Brock. This is basically the same ish shoe as the old Nike uh, Kerry Colat shoe, which of course is that shoe is super, super expensive, super hyped. So a lot of people in the wrestling community actually like really don't like this because they don't like when they see like reps. Like, so these, I like these a lot, super comfy. They remind me of the Nike Freak with how much foam in there. Um, but these are the three point takedowns, split sole grip. Next up, we actually have two pairs, one green pair and then one white pair of basically like Parkside wrestling shoes with our logo stitched on there. Uh, I think, I think the, this logo stitch, but this one is glued unfortunately. So you can see kind of the Parkside range logo is kind of ripping off there so basically if you guys are like okay what what the heck are these these basically in the wrestling community are known as uh, Nike OE reps so there's a shoe called the Nike inflict 2 that brand new it can sell for probably one to two thousand dollars um, but these are like replicas and you can see these in like in all different colorways you actually you know what fun fact I actually went on Ally Express I think I was like in uh, early high school or maybe it might've been mi middle school. And I would buy these shoes. Of, it, it'd have like a Nike logo on it and it was like a rep. And I would just like sell it on eBay because that's what people do. So that was like my side gig. And it, it just sucked because it took like 30 days to actually get the sneaker. But overall, um, I don't really wear these too much. We got these for free because of the school. We, we got a hookup. So shout out, shout out to him. But now actually a brand, I didn't even think I had one sneaker. I thought I had multiple, but I actually have one Adidas sneaker and this or wrestling shoe and this is the Adidas Combat Speed. This is the brand new one. Uh, I bought these for I think it was like 70 bucks, but I basically just chose these to practice in because I personally love Combat Speeds. Um, unfortunately, these are like a little bit more plasticky than the old Combat Speeds, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I would say in high school, my main wrestling shoe was the Adidas Combat Speed in the practice room. In high school, I basically had one practice shoe and one competition shoe. I'll get to that competition shoe in a bit, but basically it was that red Adidas Combat Speed. It wasn't the leaf bottom, unfortunately, um, but I like to roll around in these. Next up, we have my Soul Scrap Life pair. Gifted by the man himself, Bo freaking Nickel. This is Bo Nickel's signature pair with Scrap Life. Honestly, I always see him in like different Scrap Life shoes that they just haven't released and they haven't come out with a new shoe in forever, which is kind of annoying, but they even said that they're coming out with like a green pair. And this was like, I think it was like four months ago, they, they told me that they were coming out with a green pair, but still nothing in the, nothing coming out yet, which is unfortunate. But these, these are pretty comfy. The only thing I would say is that the bottoms actually, uh, her, this, yeah, this bottom is actually already ripping, which sucks. And it's like, I don't even know how that happened, but I was playing wall ball and I'm like, I think I got an out cause of that, which sucked. But I mean, these are like a sick, like these are the tiger eyes and I, I love the colorway. There's really nothing like it. And I, overall I, I do like the design of 
the Scrap Life shoe. I know David Taylor, I think he wore these in his wedding, the, the his his black pair actually. Now these are actually my sole Nike pairs and these were actually a gift too. These are customs, so Nike Fury. These actually remind me of like a Green Bay Packer shoe and of course being a fan of Wisconsin, live in Wisconsin. You can see I have wore these a bit. The paint is coming off because they are customs and I try not to like overwear them at all. For the Nike Fury, it is just kind of like a stiff shoe. It's also kind of weird too because the tongue is like connected to the whole shoe, which is actually kind of strange, but he did stitch on this custom Nike thing. And honestly, this would be super cool to wear in a duel. And I might even bust these out here in the next couple weeks. But these are fire, should definitely wear these more. And I probably need some more Nike shoes as well. I actually did have Nike Freaks, but my grandpa bought them off of me back in high school actually. So my grandpa's rocking Nike Freaks. And lastly, for a shoe that I only have one of, it's King Spec. So this is interesting. I actually did, I think a shoe review, I think it was like three or four years ago for them. And basically it, it does remind me a lot of kind of the funky flicker boy, Russell Boutique with that sock type feel. It has, you know, like that aggressor bottom. Definitely a cool shoe. I haven't heard more of King Spec as a brand in recent news. I don't know if they have more stuff coming out or whatnot, but um, I think I've, I, I honestly haven't worn these too much. I think I might've worn them for two or three practices, but these actually were probably a little bit too tight on me. That's why I didn't wear them too much. But I mean, you can see I got, I got a lot of shoes to wear, so sometimes I forget about stuff. Now we're gonna dive into brands, which I have more shoes of, and right here in front of me, we got four Rudis wrestling shoes. And you can see I'm gonna be a fan of Kyle Snyder's shoe. I am a big fan of Kyle Snyder's shoe. The first shoe I bought from Kyle Snyder, this bad boy. I wore these in college hard for like, was I think it was my first year of college or, yeah, it was my first year of college. Yeah, I wore these like every practice and every match because I was more thinking like, you know what, I have these wrestling shoes, but I wanna be wrestling in the same shoe and practice as match so I can kind of set up more of a routine, right? This got worn to heck and so far, I mean, the stitches are all fine. I can still wear it to practice. There's no, nothing coming out of the toe. You can actually see the bottoms are like, the grip is definitely uh, losing its touch there. But yeah, these are the Kyle Snyder Turbine Wraps. And I actually have a, a two more of these actually. I'll go into this black pair too. I got this black pair too right after this because I think this was a cooler colorway for me. These were actually a little bit tighter than these. So these were fit a little bit smaller, even though they were the same size. So I love this, the triple black colorway, absolutely love it. I think in my personal own shoe, I would definitely want a triple black. That would be so cool. Basically the same thing with the Kyle Snyder logo, Rudus logo. Grip on these is a little bit better. And my last Kyle Snyder Turbine, I actually got these in a mystery box. Rudus was having like an offer, it was like, 50 bucks or it was it was like 75 bucks and you'd get a mystery shoe basically for the shoes that like haven't sold well or you know they just had extra and this well i don't, I don't even know what colorway this is but it's a super cool colorway again these also were way too tight i don't understand something must have happened here because these are the same size shoes and it's just it just fits smaller and it was just tighter so that's a bit unfortunate but i think i, I definitely would have worn these more if they were a size up but you, you can see here too, with a couple of these brands, I just have like, a lot of them are just way too tight on me, which is unfortunate. And last but not least, my, probably one of my favorite shoes of my collection, I retired these wrestling shoes. Because if you guys know the last match I wrestled in these bad boys is my high school state finals. This is the Rudis Alphas, still in absolutely phenomenal condition. These were the shoes that I never wore in practice. I only wore in competition my senior year of high school. And I haven't worn these since. I haven't worn, like, oh, it still smells like gold. And honestly, I don't even think they sell this model anymore of the Rudis Alpha. So definitely maybe in a couple of years, this could be worth some money. But, but at the end of the day, some wrestling shoes are just worth more than money. Some things like this are priceless. Now, next up, we are going into the Spartan Combat Wrestling brand. So this wrestling brand, you guys might know with the likes of Yanni, Vito, Kyle Dake. They're doing some awesome stuff with shoes. And coming in first here, these are actually very new to me. These are the Kyle Dake Spartan Combat shoes. Awesome colorway for Parkside. I actually wore these uh, at my two recent duels, one at Augustana, which I got a forfeit in, and then one at uh, Sioux Falls University. The cool thing about this one is I love the, the lacing system. It's basically the same as the Nike Freak. It's not super, super thick, but it's thick enough to where it's like has great ankle support. And the bottoms, I'll tell you what, they remind me of like the Ultra Boost bottoms that have like that continental tire type feel. Like this is literally tire. They should definitely come out with more colorways in these. And shout out to Nick from Spartan Combat. 
for hooking me up with these. I wear these a ton. Now we have a really, really cool story about these. These are the Yanni D Spartan Combat Shoes. Love this colorway. I love the black and gold colorway. So the summer when we were traveling, me and Crosby, to do all these podcasts, all this content, you guys know we had a podcast with Yanni and we were talking about wrestling shoes and just how that whole process was for him. And basically, we asked if he had any more colorways on the way. He showed me this picture. He had like 25 colorways, super dope, like insane. We got like neon, we got the coolest green. And honestly, I just wish they released them all or like just a hundred pairs of each colorway because they'd go absolutely insane. And basically he took inspiration for actually these shoes behind me right here, the Asics XEOs. Absolutely love these. This is actually probably one of my top five pa favorite pairs in my collection. Love wearing these in practice, love wearing these in competition, super, super light. Honestly, the only negative part is they really don't have a lace system, but nothing little tape can't fix. And now going into one of the wrestling brands that I have the most shoes from, and that is Russell Boutique and Funky Flicker Boys over here. So starting off with my most used pair, I actually did have a, kind of a black and white pair, but they completely ripped. Toes out the door, grip just went like crazy. Um, that's probably like the worst thing that people say about it. And I would probably say too, is that the durability on these is definitely a lot smaller than the usual wrestling brand. I know of course with the future pairs, they have fixed that a bit and the durability has gone up. These actually do not have any holes in them. The grip is still, you know, fairly good. Sole's a bit squishy. And I actually wore these in my first college wrestling duel. I got pinned in a cradle. So um, yeah, maybe it was bad luck or, you know, maybe I'm just, sucky at wrestling, but I have not worn these in a fat minute actually. Now another similar funky flicker boy pair. I, uh, these came out, I believe the same year. These are like the teals. These remind me of the, com the Adidas Combat Speeds had a similar colorway like this. This colorway is absolutely insane. Has the yellow bottoms. You got like the pink tongue in there. These of course, they have that uh, lacing system as well. Unfortunately, this lacing system is like, it's so small and the laces are always like so big. So I wish they kind of made their laces a bit smaller and the, the pocket system could have been a little bit better. But I'd say these are still in fair condition. No ripping around the toes. There is definitely some wear, but definitely a wild, wild colorway. Now when Russell Boutique and Funky Flicker Boy used to drop like super old back in the day, I had to pick these bad boys up. Now I actually bought two other pairs around this time of Russell Boutique that I actually ended up selling, of course, to make a profit because I'm quite the businessman. And Carter, my brother, actually wore these in our recent wrestling tips video. These are still in fine condition too. There's no ripping around the toes. The grip is still there. It's wearing a little bit, but man, these are old. And I, I wore these a decent bit. And I even wonder how much could these go for? Offer up in the comments. Actually, for any of these shoes, guys, let me know what what you would rate my wrestling shoe collection video at on what prices you would pay for some of these shoes. Maybe these could be yours. And another older pair of the Funky Flicker Boys is this colorway. And one of my teammates, Austin, he actually has the same pair of these, which is cool too. I don't believe I have actually worn these in a full practice. Now, I did do a review on these, I think it was a couple years ago whenever these came out, but I just never got around to actually wearing them a decent bit. And this is like, this is a perfect colorway for Parkside too. And then it actually looks brand new. There's no toe rubbing anywhere. The soles are completely fine. It's kind of funny because doing this video, it's like, wait, why haven't like I worn some of these shoes? But And now we have all of the recent drops from this year's Funky Flicker Boy Wrestle Boutique, starting off with the Tar Heels actually. So. Really, really cool colorway here. Reminds me of North Carolina. Got this nice baby blue. One thing that I don't get on these is that they say WB23 Limited Proto. You know, I know they only release in 100 pairs, but so these are the models that the durability actually increase. Definitely feels a lot, lot tougher. And what's crazy about all of these, you cannot get them anymore. Like they literally sold out in two minutes. So whether it's a brand new pair or a used pair, if you guys do have these, you could definitely get some money off of them. One thing that is cool about these, you can see the lacing actually goes down kind of at an angle, which is kind of cool. And this is a nice colorway. Now I actually have two pairs of the Resto Boutique Skunks. This is actually a brand new pair. This is the size 10. I did have a size nine, but when I put them on, they literally ripped, which is a bit unfortunate. So I got a replacement pair. So shout out to Connor. But this is definitely a solid colorway. Can match with anything black and white. Now we have the 3D Funky Flicker Boy wrestling shoes. It reminds me of, I think it was their viral colorway, I believe when they released it. I love this like bluish green. I don't even know what to call that color. I suck with naming colors. And all of these Funky Flicker Boy wrestling boutiques, they're in like 
prime condition. I only wore them for probably like one practice each. But on these two, on the uppers, I do love this feeling. It's almost like prime knit, like the Adidas NMDs have. And the only thing about their lacing system, I just wish it was a bit better. Like you can tuck your laces in there, but you can't like strap it over or zipper it up or something. But definitely I think this is one of the best colorways that they dropped. Now coming in with the full, I think this was the forest colorway. Perfect Parkside Wrestling shoe. Got the gum bottoms. You gotta respect it. Such a cool colorway, almost like camo. Got this almost like off-white white tannish color, brown laces. A lot of these also Funky Flicker Boy and Russell Boutique shoes, they came with different laces too. Again, these are all sold out. You can't get them anymore. Cool colorway. In our second to last Russell Boutique pair, we have the Jokers. However, I would love if these were called like the Buzz Lightyears. Like, could you imagine wearing these in like a Buzz Lightyear singlet? That would be the coolest thing ever. But this was their second time actually releasing the Jokers. The first time they did, they collabed with Bryce Meredith on it. So I'm not sure how they could actually come out with, I guess, the Jokers again, but nonetheless, they did. You got the mostly green, you got some red accents, you got the purple, and also the laces that they got. I believe there's purple laces that came. So that would look, I think, pretty crazy on these. And last but not least, definitely one of the most hype colorways of the entire year, the Russell Boutique Glacier. When I first opened the box and saw these, I thought this was the coldest shoe I've ever seen. But you just got the blue and white design on the upper and then it just drops to all freaking white. You would look so fast, so fly in these. You got the all white bottoms. Man, you'd be looking so fresh in these. The only thing is I wonder how fast they get dirty. As you can see, I literally barely even wore these basically because I just don't want to get them dirty. I just want to look at them, but definitely the coolest colorway. I think these would probably sell for the most of any of these Russell boutiques other than the old ones. And if you got your hands on these, you're probably very, very lucky. And now last but not least, I'm going into my final wrestling brand of wrestling shoes that I have, and that is Asics. Starting off with the Asics Omniflexes. These are worn to crap. I wore these so much. This was definitely one of my all time favorite shoes to wear, whether that be in a practice, in a match, these lasted me for years. And what was cool about these is they have a zipper lacing system. So it's got that strap and you can see the, literally the zipper is completely off now. It had cool like, like Velcro under the zipper too, but basically no laces were involved here. You had the zipper, you just unzip it, you put your foot in there, zip it on up and I absolutely love this design. So they released the gold, there was like silver, which looked insane, and there was a USA colorway. So super cool grip. These shoes are like crazy flexible, but man, these lasted me forever. Absolutely love these. I wish they dropped more. Clash of Combat shoe, my personal shoe, it actually will have a zipper lacing system. Next up is the only pair of JBs that I currently still have in my collection that is not lost. I did have the, a lot actually of the USA colored Jordan Burroughs when he was with Asics, but as you can see here, there's no more Asics logo. It's all ripped. I, I wore these in a lot of practices. This was back in the middle school days. And I mean, this is when Jordan Burroughs was with Asics. Now he's, you know, all time with Rudis. I really wonder how many shoes did Jordan Burroughs sell? I personally believe with Asics, it had to be over 50,000 pairs, right? There's no way he didn't. But honestly, these might need to be just thrown away. Like what? I don't even know what's the point in keeping these around. Just for the JB logo. Now these are a fun one. This is the ASICS Legend Aggressor. When ASICS first announced this, I immediately knew I absolutely needed them. There was faces of wrestlers on the wrestling shoe. Like how could I not? So on one side, we have Dan Gable and Kale Sanderson. And on the other, we have Rulon Gardner and Bruce Bumgardner. And actually the first time I wore these, the grip was atrocious. I was slipping and sliding all over the mat like there was no tomorrow and it was because it had all these like little bumps on it. So what I actually did is I took sandpaper and I put it to the shoe and I started rubbing because there was no way I could absolutely wear these again at a wrestling practice. It was that slippery. I absolutely do not regret it even though there was only 2,000 pairs made. But unfortunately with that whole situation too, I believe they released more than 2,000 pairs because the original 2,000 actually didn't even sell out. And they have a couple more legend aggressors that they like sample release. So there's a couple pairs flowing around of those, but definitely a cool shoe I have in my collection. Shout to committed wrestling shoes for these. These are the Dan Gable ultimate wrestling shoes. An older colorway for sure. Also probably one of the coolest bottoms on a wrestling shoe. I just love this, whatever this is, it looks sick. 
The grip looks absolutely amazing. You got the Dan Gable Ultimate on the back. You know, if I'm not wrong, there is no Dan Gable signature on the shoe, but it has a lacing system there. Got this like web design, reminds me of like Spider-Man, but they also released these in a couple other colorways. I know one is like a baby blue colorway, which is absolutely insane, but I think that's definitely a little bit more money than these. And now we're gonna get into some of my rarest pairs in my collection because I actually have quite a bit of samples. So starting off is these sample aggressors. I got these off of a guy on eBay. They do look like a similar aggressor colorway that released, but if you do take a closer look, it has this kind of gold underneath this net design. And all on the samples, you can see the tag, it says sample, and all sample wrestling shoes come in size nine. So thankfully for me, I'm size between nine and 10. So shout out to the people who make samples because I can actually wear them. And I actually did buy these brand new, but I was thinking, I was like, you know what? Wrestling shoes are meant to be worn. So we cut the tags off and we're wearing them, guys. Wear your wrestling shoes. I also bought these Kale Sanderson samples around the same time. Unfortunately for these, these are very, very small. They fit so tight. I can't even wear these in practice, but these are still absolutely brand new. I have the A6 sample tag on them. So these are the Kale V7s. Uh, these were first sampled in 2016 on September 9th. So if your team is yellow and blue, guys, I'd be willing to sell these. So if someone is a size, so if someone is a size nine, but fits like an eight, these would be absolutely perfect for you. So offer up in the comments. And last but not least, my newest shoe in my collection. I actually wore these all of Midwest Classic. Shout out to Easton Warcheck for these. These are another Asics Omniflex, but these were released before these Omniflexes. As we can see here, there's a lacing design. These are pretty worn. You got that sample tag right there, but definitely an awesome green colorway in there. These are probably gonna turn into my most worn shoe in my wrestling matches. Super flexible, super light, really happy with these. And I'm actually trading some of my shoes in my collection for these. And now going into the shoes sitting behind me. These are the brand new, well actually not brand new because I wore them, but the updated Asics XEOs. And if you guys want these, I'm not getting paid to say this, but Committed Wrestling Shoes on Instagram is the plug for these. I've done multiple deals with him. He actually lives actually a couple hours away. Freaking amazing colorway. I love this green and white, kind of got like a gold accent on the back. These I definitely will be wearing once the bigger tournaments come up here later in the season. The only bad part about these is of course they're not releasing in the United States. They're pretty much made in Japan and you can't get them without paying a pretty penny for these. Like I said, I mean, like you're gonna be forking up 300 bucks if you want a pair of these. And last but not least, my most expensive shoe in my collection is the original Asics XEOs. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe these are called factory customs because it has, of course, the white Asics logo, but it's got the gold accents around it. Super awesome green. I actually wore these in my video where I wrestled Austin Gomez. One thing about these shoes though, is that the more you wear them, they'll definitely start chipping around the sole here. On this pair, it is absolutely perfect. There is no chipping, no toe wear, like literally perfect condition shoes. The only thing is like I did wear them. I did get them brand new. I think I got them for, I think 300, 25 bucks, but now even though they're used, you can get offers still just shy of $500. So literally brand new, these could be a $700 pair of wrestling shoes. And I know they have tons of colorways in these, but they officially stopped making this kind of OG style of A6 XEOs. But, but it's crazy too, because it's still probably the most popular wrestling shoe of the year. So usually I actually have these hanging in my room on like a floating shoe thing. So these do still get worn. I'm still gonna wear these, but might just need to buy a brand new pair just to sit around. So that has been my entire wrestling shoe collection video. What did you guys think of the shoes? Do you think I had more? Did you think I have less? What would you value my collection at? I wanna hear your guys' thoughts in the comments comments below. I'm reading all comments, responding to all comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Shout out to my patrons for supporting me over on there, and we'll see you guys next video.